Hello, the Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way to Humalau City, but as you can see, I've gone ahead and brought us back to Seaside Cave, as I told you guys, because we're going to run around and catch a Pokemon inside of here. So let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon it is going to be here in Seaside Cave. And with that, we have ran into a Drift Bleem. It is level 35, so I have Fang up in front. Let's go ahead and see what we can do against this Pokemon. You guys should see a couple level ups as we go because I have trained up our Pokemon since we are very, very close to entering the 8th gym. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all of your support and your comments. I've been really crazy busy with university lately and I'm ready to continue our adventure. So thank you guys so much for being patient. I'm trying to do more in different types of videos. So keep a lookout for that. I actually did a Pokemon update recently on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on my channel. So if you guys want to watch that, go ahead and check it out. I'll be doing more and more updates as they come out for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon getting prepared for the release. So you guys know that I will be doing a Let's Play on my channel on day one. So be sure to turn on those notifications to be kept up to date with the uploads. And I thought we had that Drift Gleam there, but it seems like it's going to be a little bit harder to catch this Pokemon. Now I do have some Pokeballs ready to go, so let's see if we can catch it with this one. We have it in the red. Now let's throw the Dusk Ball. We are inside a Seaside Cave, so technically the Dusk Ball should work quite well here. We are going to get it. Are we going to get it? And there we go, guys. So awesome. Gotcha. Drift Bleem was caught, and we've caught the Pokemon here in Seaside Cave. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it was not a fire type. It wasn't a crazy type. We've already had some ghost Pokemon. We have a flying type. So we are going to go ahead and continue on. Now, I am going to give it a nickname, though, and we are going to call this Drift Bleem. I think I got a name for it. It kind of makes a little bit of sense because it's pretty much what it just did to us. It just kind of drifted into our lives here at Seaside Cave. So we are going to call this Pokemon Drift. With that, Drift is going to get sent to the PC. And we are done here in Seaside Cave. You guys know that we also have Fang here with us. So we are now able to fly around this place. Take a couple of laps around the region whenever we want. So we're going to go ahead and fly our way back to Humalau City. And get ready for this adventure to continue, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are pumped for today. I am very excited to try out our team. As you can see, everybody's been leveled up quite a bit. So everyone's going to be very strong here. Around level 46 with Ghost being a little bit stronger because Ghost has got a lot of action recently. What can I say? A nice type Pokemon is going to do real good. With that, we have made it to Humalau City, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a very cool city. You can see that they have a face board here. Say cheese. And then there also seems to be the Marine Tube. So this is where the Marine Tube connects. We'll get the DNA Splicers back for sure. So you should focus on defeating Gym Leader first. You guys heard Hugh. We're going to be making our way inside of Humalau City's Pokemon Gym. Taking on its gym leader, Marlin. More splash than the sea. How is he having more splash than the sea? That is for us to find out. So let's step inside. If you're looking for the gym leader, he went swimming off into the ocean yelling about the sea. Please look for him if you like. Please look for him. I mean, it's not like we have another choice. We're just going to have to go right out of this place and try to find where this gym leader is. Why do these gym leaders always run off from the gym? Yeehaw! Sup, you must be here to challenge the Pokemon Gym. I'm the Gym Leader, Marlin. Sorry to make you look for me, yo. I was swimming with the Pokemon. It felt real good, so I kept going and going. I'll be waiting in the gym, okay? All right, Marlin. With that, guys, we have met the Gym Leader. And it is time for us to step inside our eighth and final gym. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk to our boy. This gym may feel like a resort, but the Gym Leader is no picnic. This is a present for me. Please focus and prepare. With that, we got ourselves our fresh water, and that is going to be our last fresh water here. You will have spoken my gym, you proceed by hopping on the lily pads and sliding across the water surface. Here's another piece of advice. Water type Pokemon really don't like electric or grass type moves, but I'm sure the gym leader has planned for that. I'm sure the gym leader has planned indeed. So let's go ahead and make our way in. He said we're going to be making our way by pushing through these lily pads. So let's go ahead and jump into our first battle of today. Let's see what we have in store for us, guys. I'm excited to see what kind of challenges will be coming here in the 8th gym. After this, it is just upwards towards the Elite Four where we will be facing our true challenge. So we got a mine in level 47. So as I told you guys, our Pokemon are around 46. So everybody's pretty good on levels right now. 
I'm feeling pretty good about that myself. So let's go ahead and send out Unalak here. Hope you guys have been having a good week. I've been having a pretty good week, just busy with university, as I told you guys. But luckily, you know, things are hopefully going to start slowing down a little bit, you know, maybe in October, November, as things get going. It is October, so there's a lot of creepy things going on. It's going to be Halloween this month. You know what? I wish I could go back and trick-or-treat. I used to you know, go trick-or-treating all the time. I think one of the last times I did was in high school. And I might have told you guys about this time. But when I was in high school, I've had my really good friend Jacob. I've known him since second grade, you know, since like third grade. We've been friends for a really long time. So he's who I named my rival after in Pokemon Heart Gold. So Jacob and me, we was just one day after high school. We might have been freshmen or sophomores. So maybe something like that. He tells me to come by his neighborhood because we lived really close to each other. We've always lived close to each other since we were kids. So I could just like ride my bike over there. And he told me that there was this haunted house, you know, that we should go trick-or-treating in his neighborhood. And that's what I did. So I went over there. And we've been trick-or-treating together since we were kids. So we were just, like, excited to, you know, find some candy and just have some fun out there. So we just went around, you know, trick-or-treating, maybe jacked a couple bowls of, you know, whatever was out there type of candy. You know, sometimes you got to do that once in a while. If you ever see a bowl of candy, it's a little bit late at night. You know nobody's going to come and get it. Eh, you know, you might want to put a little more candy in your bag. So anyways, we were doing that type of thing. And then it got a little bit later and we were ready to go to this haunted house. So it was just this haunted house that was located at someone's house in the neighborhood. So, you know, it was in the neighborhood and it's one of the first haunted houses that I've gone to like that. But it was really interesting. Somebody redesigned their whole house, maybe put up like some walls or some sort of things to make it kind of like a maze. So when we were waiting in line, there was actually a really big line to get into this haunted house in this neighborhood. And we're waiting there in line. As I told you guys, it was a little bit creepy. You got the Halloween in the air. It's, you know, a little bit cold out because it's fall in Florida. And by cold out, I mean it was like 85 degrees. So you're still sweating a little bit. But, you know, it's cold out for us. Or at least you like to think it's cold so you can enjoy yourself a little more, you know, during those chilly moments. So we're just waiting there in that line. All of a sudden, you hear this creepy music come on. And this like crazy guy in a costume is climbing down from the roof and then all these other monsters start coming out so I started getting a little bit freaked out you know it was pretty terrifying this house had a really great you know performance you know being put on it, it looked fantastic out there they were putting on quite the show so then we were going in pairs of four and it was just me and my friend Jacob at this time we get to the front of the line so like how many we're like two and they're like okay well here you guys are going with these two so they put us in a group with these two kids they were brothers they were definitely younger i don't remember how old they were but they must have been in elementary school around that age they were really young so there was the older brother and the younger brother and we're like okay we'll we'll go for it we'll start walking through here and i remember we start walking in and as soon as you walk into the haunted house you hear a guy with a chainsaw just coming after you. So I had this guy running at us with a chainsaw. Then all of a sudden, the smaller of the two brothers just like starts holding on to me because he's terrified out of his mind. I'm terrified out of my mind. So everybody's terrified out of their minds. Everybody's freaking out a little bit. And then before I know it, we're like all like just running through there. And we make it to this hall where the lights are like flashing just flashing and it's terrifying and I don't know things are popping out so we make it through that hall and we stop at this corner and then I look around and I'm like why are there only three of us and it turns out the little kid was gone somewhere so he must have gotten lost or something because he was so scared maybe he stopped walking through and we didn't notice that so then at that point you know we're like what do we do we're trying to ask the people in the house and we asked some guy who was there like, you know, one of the people in costume were like, dude, uh, this guy can't find his little brother. And the guy's like, I don't know, man. I can't move from here. So at that point, we just kept going through. And the older brother's like, it's okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go find him. And the kid just walked back into the darkness. Never saw him again. I just walked through the haunted house, made my way through. And it was terrifying. It was scary. And that was the end of the crazy haunted Halloween experience there at that haunted house. I gotta tell you guys, it was really, really scary for a haunted house. So for that kid to, you know, have the courage to go back in there, good for him. I hope everything worked out. I'm sure it did. His little brother was probably just, you know, a little bit scared back there. But, you know, those are the fun times that you have during Halloween. I definitely enjoy it quite a bit myself. I wish I could go back and do it some more. But, you know, that's what happens, guys. Every day, you know, you get a little bit older and then eventually the day comes where you can't trick-or-treat anymore. So enjoy it while you can. Get yourself some candy, you know, have a good time out there. Because it's definitely a lot of fun here in October. We're going to be going up against an Escavalier. 
and we've been doing quite well so far in this gym so i'm not too worried about it i think we can keep this going our pokemon are going to do just fine especially since everybody's well trained i also feel like we have a good balance of pokemon since we brought in fang and we put dory back in the pc we now have the flying type that has definitely helped our team get better well-rounded i feel like we got a bigger type coverage now with that and we should be okay going up against any of these pokemon here in the eighth gym so let's go for that surf the escavalier actually did not take that much damage so what else are we going to be able to do with this thing you know i'm trying to put a bigger amount of damage let's go for the bulldoze then it's a little bit annoying going against an escavalier i gotta tell you guys that this pokemon is one of those that is pretty strong and definitely does stand out so we're gonna try to do our thing around here we're gonna try to do a thing or two let's go for that surf then take down this escavalier please it's at the red are you kidding me and we are just getting ready in preparation from the gym leader right now so i need to make sure that all of our pokemon are ready to go ready to rumble the scavalier is down so let's see who's gonna be coming out next guys we got ourselves a clefable so i think we're gonna be okay we're gonna switch back to sparky jr and let's go ahead and see what sparky jr can do i also want to thank all of those of you guys that have joined my new discord server and if you're interested in joining my discord server i'll be putting a link in the description there's also a link up on my channel if you want to hop on and join so i made the server about two weeks ago and we already have over 300 people who have joined so thank you guys so much to all of you purple banditos that joined up you can go on there and you can actually choose a starter we have all the starter pokemon on the discord server and from there you can become a trainer and you know move on through the pokemon trainer rankings so it's been a lot of fun having the chance to talk to you guys uh, i've had a lot of questions that have been asked to me as well so it's great getting to interact with you guys it's cool getting to share this with you because i feel like i've been doing it for so long i've been doing youtube for over seven years now that you know i haven't had the chance to speak to every single one of you that sometimes you realize like there's some people that do know some parts of my history or my background because they've watched this lp there's some people who maybe don't because they watch this lp so you see little bits of pieces coming together and it's very very cool i'm glad that i can answer questions for you guys and let you know more about me which is something that i'm definitely trying to do i'm trying to share more and open up more to you guys so i hope that you get the chance to hop on there and check it out i've been using the discord server as well for challenge sundays i've been live streaming every sunday so the past two weekends i've been live streaming on sundays whether it was pokin or whether it was mario kart and i have been battling you guys on that and that's what my series for challenge sundays is about so if you're interested in battling me or taking me on, since I do get a bunch of challenge requests, hop on the Discord server. That's where I'm going to be doing it. This Sunday will be Smash Bros. for the 3DS, since before that I did Mario Kart 8, before that I did Pokin. And I also have a couple other games in mind and suggestions that I've been getting to try and, you know, try these different games out and play, especially now that the Switch is out. Going off of that too... Now that the Nintendo Switch is out, I've been thinking about going and trying some different games and playing them. So I'd love to hear back from you guys. Uh, if you guys would be interested in watching a Super Mario Odyssey LP, let me know in the comments. That's a game that's going to be coming out later this month. And I'm definitely looking forward to playing. And I'd love to share that playthrough with you guys since it'll be my first time playing through that game. And I think that's going to be a very, very great game. I did Super Mario Galaxy 1 on my channel before, and it did really amazing. Everybody seemed to enjoy it, so I hope that you guys are interested in seeing some more Mario on my channel, because I'm looking to branch out more and to bring more series together. I definitely want to do some more series, not just Pokemon, I want to do some Mario, and do, you know, whatever it is that comes out, whatever games are going to be coming out, as you guys have been seeing with Challenge Sundays. So, you know, hopefully we will be able to progress throughout the year and get more and more people in through the challenges and play through more games. So I hope you guys are excited for all the content that is to come. Uh, I might have mentioned earlier that I have been doing some Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon videos reviewing some of the clips that they've been coming out with because they've been giving out so much information. And it is those types of videos that I'm trying to make more of. So make sure you stay tuned for that. You know, stay tuned for all those videos. We're going to have a lot more content coming to the channel very soon, especially with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming out. For now, we're going to try to do everything that we can here in Block 2 as well to get to the Elite Four and wrap up this adventure. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have battled just about everyone inside of this gym. It's time for us to get ready to take on Marlin. <coughs> Sup? Here already, huh? You look strong. Shoots. Let's start. 
Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Humalau City's gym leader, Marlin, the eighth and final gym leader of the Unova region. Here we go, guys. We're challenged by leader Marlin. He has three Pokemon ready to go. And this is our final gym battle. He's opened up with a Celebi. I'm going to open up with a Fang. And this is not the best situation to be in. Because this Celebi could definitely do some big damage to Fang. So let's see if we can hold up. The Ancient Power is going to come out. Fang hand in there. And we're good. We're going to shoot up to the sky. Let's go fly up. And if I could land some big moves on this Celebi, we should be able to take it down with that. Oh my goodness! Okay! So that's how Fang wants to play this. We hit a crit on that Celebi. That Celebi is out of here. So next up is going to be a Darmoniton. And I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Unalak. So great job to Fang there. If a Psychic would have came out from the Celebi, I think we might have took a lot of damage. But we're not going to worry about that since we managed to pull it off. Let's go off against Darmoniton as well. I'm trying to get the W here. So let's hit that Surf. Big damage here against this guy. If we land another crit, I'll take it. You know, I'll take a crit any day of the week. It is in the red zone. So it looks like Marlin is getting pumped as well. I have to tell you guys that this gym is a very, very cool gym. I definitely like the design behind it. I think gyms like this are very interesting to play through. And I'd like to see more gyms like this in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Which is something that I am looking forward to. So let's hang in here. Let's see how much that superpower is going to do. I think we're going to be A-OK, -okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, Unalak, let's go for that Surf. Let's take down this Darmoniton, and let's see what the third Pokemon is going to be here for Marlin. Since that Darmoniton level 49 is out. We're doing really, really good. Unalak grew to level 47. But as you guys can see, the Pokemon that the gym leader is using are surpassing us in level. So, we got to be prepared. Pinsir is level 51 here. Speaking of surpassing us in level, we got to tank out this thrash. We got to hang in there, Unalak. We're going to go for the Surf, guys. We do have 22 HP. We got to hang in there. And the Surf almost took it down to the red. We got it in the yellow. One more Surf should be able to take down this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and get prepared. I'm going to use the Hyper Potion. We only have two. So I should probably pick up a couple more. But this will be enough Hyper Potions to get us through this gym. Tank out the Thrash and we should be good. This Pokemon is also confused as well. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to go for the Surf. Pinsir is confused. It hit itself in its confusion. So there we have it. Let's go for the Surf, Unalak. And that is going to take down Marlin's last Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. We had a crit there. We didn't even need that. And we gained a bunch of XP. We defeated leader Marlin. You raised with Pokemon. We got 6120 for winning. You don't look too strong. You're strong for reals. Uh, I was swept away too. Oh, yeah. I was surprised that I forgot. I got to give this to you. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have obtained our eighth out of eight badges here in the Unova region. No more to go. We received the Wave Badge from Marlin. That is our 8th badge. That's the Wave Badge, the Unova Region's new gym badge. Pretty sweet, huh? Now you got all 8 badges so you can be tight with any Pokemon. Oh yeah, got a TM for you too. We obtained TM 55 Scald, and that's a pretty good TM to get. So Scald sometimes wears a target, okay? Oh, and you can even use it when you're all frozen and chilling and stuff. Shoots, I'm off then. Hope it's useful. See you later, Marlin. With that, guys, it looks like Marlin is going to go for a swim. We have obtained our 8th and final badge and that is it ladies and gentlemen we defeated the eight gym leaders we are ready to make our way out and get to the elite four i hope you guys are pumped the gyms were hard the battles were difficult but we proved to come out on top and we have done it we better say bye to our boy modeling swimming around isn't he all right man see you later thanks for all the fresh waters and we have made it out what's up you you got all the badges. You're really something. Usually, you'd go to the Pokemon League now, but dealing with Team Plasma comes first. Sup, yo? What's this Team Plasma you're talking about, dude? Team Plasma does things like steal my sisters. I mean, people's Pokemon. They plan on conquering Unova by using Pokemon to freeze a solid. They're really evil. Haven't you heard of them, Marlin? Nope. Once the ocean is home, you don't worry about things like that. Because the ocean accepts all rivers. So you think Team Plasma's bad, then? Yeah. I get it, they're bad, so you fight them. But first, you gotta say that in your own words. When you do, you'll understand better what you wanna do and what you're hoping for. Well then. 
Man, I don't know if that guy's laid back or just irresponsible. That kind of got me down, but our opponent is Team Plasma. We have to focus, but before that, we have to find where they are. Okay, we'll split up. You check Route 22. Got it? So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be checking Route 22 for Team Plasma. So next time, we'll be continuing from here. Leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Also, make sure you turn on the bell, click the notifications, turn them on so you can stay up to date with all the uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.